The Life of Lord Mahavira, the sixth year of his ascetic spiritual practice, part one of two, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 11th, 2019, in Newland Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Today,这样比较对了 看看有没有,我看哪一个人不在了 像,和尚这样,谁不想当哈 Hey, no, 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 I'm speak English. <laughs> I think English is easier for everyone to translate into their own mother tongue. But uh, mother tongue translate into English, eh, it may be difficult. Uh, they give me so many messages, so I said, okay, just, just, just for today only. If nothing urgent, just one time, just one today. What should I do today? <laughs> they told me zero, <laughs> zero. I mean, just sleep. <laughs> I thought you came from so far away. Yeah, some of you. And I thought I'd come see you. If I die, I die on the job. <laughs> My shoulder die on their job. Terrible job. But it's a job also. Hopefully in the future we don't have any more job like that. For other husbands to stay home. <laughs> with wives or the fathers to enjoy spending time with uh, their children. Yeah. That's what people should do. If they are born, they should live their time. Yeah? And then they should go whenever God says so. <laughs> Not anyone snub them out in their prime. I'm just leaking out the secret like that. That the heaven told me. I asked him why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree with what they say, zero, not working today. And I asked him why did they say that? And they told me, quote, <laughs> because if driven, eh, what's the word again? I hardly use this word. They use high English. Sometimes it's difficult for me to catch up because I always try to use very simple English so that children uh, can understand. And people who do not study English can also capish. Oh, this is not English, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they told me, ah, if driven, frenzy. This I have not used up to now, right? Yeah, they use many English words. It's, that's, it remind me that uh, <laughs> there are some other English words exist. Uh, there's a if driven frenzy. Master will be. Uh, what, what? There's some word. 
something that they use very good English word, but it means like your strength will be weakened, something like that. But they use a very good word now. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> it's something like that, similar to that meaning. Just they use very good word, always very accurate, better than me. Yeah. Like the word foregoing, forego, like forsake, put down. I have never used it, I don't remember, but they use it. Yeah, when they give me messages, they use that word, and sometimes I'm very surprised. I wonder where did they study? Maybe Oxford <laughs> or Harvard, yeah? <laughs> They're cool. Some of my guards are very cool. They call themselves protectors. They don't say guards, protectors. Always answer me, your protectors. And they came from your school, actually. I told you already. Every two days they had to change guards because they cannot bear here too long. They have to come with a special tube. It's tube to come down, go back the same way. And that tube has to be specially constructed just for them to come up and down. No one can enter. No one even know. It doesn't look like the water tube or <laughs> some kind of tube that we imagine here on this planet. Even if I'm not in retreat, they also try to be around. Very good people. Good, good, good. They are so erudite, very elite type of beings. I'm very happy. <laughs> to have them around. It's just sometimes I don't have enough time to consult them. They see things better than I, because they don't have this physical shield which we need to protect us on this coarse atmosphere of our planet. They don't need it. They have different armor, <laughs> which I don't have. And because of that, they can see things quicker than I do. If I want to check out something, I have to take some time. Sometimes I don't have time, I ask them. Okay, okay. bedtime story. <laughs> what a life you have. What an ascetism that you practice, huh? Cookies, <laughs> candies, <laughs> uh, bedtime stories, yeah. I sit all day doing nothing, <laughs> right? We have more luck than the Lord Mahavira, but somebody has to enjoy it, huh? So that we can enjoy. <laughs> hmm? Just like sometimes somebody has to drive so that we can sit, relax, and maybe sleep on the couch. <laughs> somebody has to pilot the airplane so that we sit in our safe seat with the seat belt on or not on, enjoy the ride, the fly. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to cook, sweating in the kitchen so that we can enjoy our delicious meals. Someone has to do it. Someone has to study many, many years and remember many, many medicines, know how to uh, inject correctly so that you can be cured safely and be healthy again. Yeah. Doctor's job, nurse's job seems very glorious and everybody like them, love them, thank them, but they work pretty hard. Yeah. Weekend, you know, on duty, Nights on duty, emergency on duty, all the time, yeah, take turn, yeah. If they have enough staff, then maybe not uh, every week, but not enough every two weeks. And even at home, must have beeper, you know. In case of emergency, they need more doctor, they beep them, beep, and then they have to go. <laughs> maybe just have half a bite uh, of the zucchini, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> had to spit it out. <laughs> uh, go clean this, uh, and rub the hand with brush. We women don't understand that. Yeah, but woman doctor has to do the same. Most women doctor they learn some more elite <laughs> job. 
but if they are like surgeons, I have to rub, wash all the way here, and rub with brush, you know, this very uh, harsh brush. We normally use it hand and slowly and even put cream, you know, to <laughs> take care of the skin. They got to rub like this. Yeah, many times until, you know, <laughs> seems clean. So for hygiene, you know, for no infection for the patients. Every job, everything we enjoy in life costs somebody else some labor. So we always have to be grateful. Mm -hmm. And whatever we can do for this world uh, is not like we sacrifice or help anybody truly. It's a give and take that all of us have duty to do. So do not be too proud if you are charitable, or if you're going now to do some volunteer job or anything like that. You don't work that hard. Most of us don't work that hard. Even the streets are clean because some people have to sweep it, have to take care of it. And our garbage is gone because someone has to room it out, yeah? And that job doesn't, it doesn't look a lot, but it implies some danger also. Hmm? Garbage man uh, job are one of the most so-called dangerous job. Yeah, you'll be surprised. But you don't know, and there are some chemical in the garbage, there's some infectious things in the garbage, and they inhale it. They, they don't always wear masks, even though they should. They don't always wear gloves, even though they should. You know, men, they treat themselves horribly. <laughs> Mostly, you know it, <laughs> if you're married, <laughs> or if you have sons or <laughs> brothers. <laughs> Women, we take better care of ourselves, right? Yeah, we put cream or something, yeah, <laughs> in winter. And we wear gloves, well, not not me, <laughs> but mostly wear gloves to wash things. Yeah, I don't, I did not. That's why my hands are very wrinkling, but I'm proud of it. That means I work a lot. <laughs> yeah, because the dogs, you know, need to be clean and the birds before, yeah? I take care of them a lot. And after that, I always wash my hands. Or when I go out touching doors and things, I always wash my hands. After I mop the floor, I wash my hands. And I mop the floor with bare hands sometimes. I don't, I don't wear gloves. Really. Really. Uh, you should. You should take care of yourself. <laughs> when I was younger, I did not really take good care of myself. Yeah. Lucky, lucky we are vegans. So that keeps the skin somehow re rejuvenated and protected in some degree. Otherwise, <laughs> the way I have driven my car, you know, oh, I would be soon dead. <laughs> or at least don't look like this, you know. I don't look as good as when I was 20, of course, but could have been worse, yeah? yeah. But it could have been better if I don't have too much work and late night, late night work all the time. Mm. I don't know why I talk so much about these things. Huh? So ah, at least make sure you don't be master, okay? So you don't have to work late night, nothing. Yeah, and you keep looking young, beautiful like this. Wow. <laughs> Many of the your sister and brothers, they have been with me thirty some years already, né? But they still look very much the same like when I first met them. I'm always surprised. <laughs> so I asked them, what did you do? <laughs> Uh, what did you eat? Uh, what did you do to make you look so young like that? They told me, I meditate very well, Master. <laughs> it's good. Ah, that's what they say. Yeah, they say you will, you will lose strength. It's not a big deal word. <laughs> well, I just forgot. I just want to quote correctly, you know? I don't want to eat their words and put mine in it. So. You know, the authenticity. Sometimes they use words that I only hear it once, you know, in college or something. <laughs> I never used it in, in daily uh, interaction with other people. But they use it. I wonder how they know all these languages. Wow, incredible, incredible. That's why I trust them. 
because I speak very uh, eruditely, you know, elite. And if the Maya talk to me, they have different tone, different world. They use coarse language. It's very obvious. <laughs> yeah, very obvious. Sometimes too coarse <laughs> and not gentle. The tone, not gentle. The words, not gentle. Mostly it's very uh, rough, coarse and accusing. It's not like heaven, higher heaven, or my gods, my protectors, they speak very gently, very educatedly, yeah. very easy to distinguish <laughs> who was talking to me. Next story. I love stories, but we don't always have good stories. Yeah. This story is the continuation of the ascetic journey from Lord Mahavira. This is the sixth year of his ascetic spiritual practice. And it was the month of Mark. It says here, the peak of winter season. It could be like uh, January, February, huh? Chilling and biting winds were blowing. During the quiet part of the night, in a lonely jungle, Mahavira was standing in meditation. Have you tried standing? I don't advise. I worry about the floor. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have enough samadhi power, please don't try. Okay? Mm. Your head is easy to repair, the floor not. <laughs> Uh, you have to call the carpenter, mason and all that, you know, and then they have the painter, huh? yeah, all kind of people, huh? Mm. I'm just joking. <laughs> Your head is valuable, okay? <laughs> Take care of it. Sit on the floor. <laughs> the Buddha knew it, so he said, don't sit on high bed, okay? <laughs> uh, it's okay, you can sit on a high bed if you, if you have a big bed and in the middle of it. So in case you drop, you know, <laughs> you drop on the soft uh, mattress and pillow, okay? Otherwise, sit on the floor. Make sure you carpet it huh? or cover with uh, some blanket or mattress, okay? But don't always sleep on the floor, it's cold. And the cold air and the damp air might not be good for your body. You must take care of your body. Yeah. So it was very cold, and I wonder how he fared because he did not have any clothes on him. During the quiet part of the night in a lonely jungle, Mahavira was standing in meditation. All of a sudden, a witch, you know, witch. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> named Kataputna came there. Seeing Mahavira deep in meditation, she became angry for no apparent reason. Yeah, which, that's what they do. They get angry all the time. <laughs> Maybe eat too much garlic and onions. Yeah. <laughs> there is nothing that happens without reason. There must certainly be some antagonism from some previous birth. You see, you understand? Past life, trouble with each other, mm, somehow, uh, accidentally or on purpose. If we did something wrong to someone, even coincidentally or intentionally, we will reap it. Someday, oh, some lives, many hundreds or many thousand years later, it will bear fruit. There is nothing that happens without reason. There must certainly be some antagonism from some previous birth. You see, you understand? Past life, trouble with each other, mm, somehow, uh, accidentally or on purpose. If we did something wrong to someone, even coincidentally or intentionally, we will reap it. Someday, oh, some lives, many hundreds or many thousand years later, it will bear fruit. Like the Buddha said, he just kicked the um, 
the head of the dead fish, already dead, just to see if he's still dead <laughs> or not. Then he had headache in the present life when he was Buddha, Sikamoni Buddha. Many other things, yeah? Being in this world, we can never be immune from making karma. That is a problem. If you remember all the stories I read to you about the Buddha's uh, past life, you will remember. Or maybe many stories I did not tell you. Even the Buddha, who had been Buddhas for eons already, before he became Shakyamuni Buddha, before he keep reincarnating on this planet to make affinity with other beings, before, 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 he had already been a Buddha. That's what he said, yeah? And that's what he was. But still, when he came back, when he reincarnated as humans, he made many mistakes. Either mm, pro provoked by situation, others, or circumstances push him to do that many, many times. And then he had to reap the consequences in other lifetime. Even Lord Mahavira, in other previous reincarnations, he had done something also not very uh, benevolently to someone else. Probably that someone else, if we look further, a oh, long, 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 long time, far into the uh, existence of all the beings, we will probably see that that being probably had done something to him. And then he, in, in that lifetime, did something back to him, pushed by uh, inconceivable force of karma that you could not even resist. With all your might, with all your wisdom, with all your knowledge, with all your learned and practiced meditation and uh, virtues, you still had to go with that flow, with the karma. So actually, it is true, it's, it's said here, there's nothing happened without reason, even though we did not see the reason. It's not apparent that this reason cause that thing to happen. No, no. Okay, huh? So in this lifetime, even if we are initiated, and even if we meditate a lot, things still do happen to us sometimes, even though <laughs> lessened to some degree, uh, lubricated <laughs> to some <laughs> extent, we still need to bear it. All right? Even the masters, no exception. Even the Buddhas, no exception. More or less, we do have to pay anything that we incur, any debt that we incur from the past many lifetimes that we don't even remember, or even remember. Remember or not, we must pay, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I was in Spain, I don't have any people around me. I often have to go shopping myself and cooking, everything, yeah, cleaning. One day I went into a shop, a Chinese shop, which is almost like a small grocery store. They sell daily use stuff, huh? Chinese shop, they sell also clothes in it, you know, like a small supermarket to sell anything. <laughs> and I went there, I bought something. I went there often, not the first time. And not that often, but I went there before, several times. Not like every day. I did not stay there even all year round, so <laughs> it's okay. I went there buy something, and then because I was hurry for a dentist, <laughs> I forgot to pay. So I just walk out, go into my car, shallow. I mean, <laughs> vamos, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> then what happened when I came home? I remember, oh God, I did not pay anything. But because I'm almost regular customer, they saw me before and, you know, I'm very friendly, so they didn't say anything. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> I went home and I thought, hey, I did not pay this. Oh, man. It's too late already. Immediately in the morning early, <laughs> I, had, I went to the shop and I apologized. It's only five euros, actually. <laughs> 
But the owner is also laughing. <laughs> I say, I'm truly sorry. I did not mean to. Yesterday, I just thinking of the pain I had to suffer on the dentist chair, and I just did not have enough present mind to pay, but I did not mean to. Truly, I apologize. Truly, I did not. I am not that kind of person. He said, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you are a very good customer. You always pay and you bought a lot of things from us before. But you are good. Because we have many customers come in and don't pay and they never come back to pay. <laughs> so it's good that you came back to pay. But the bus fare in Russia, I never was able to pay. <laughs> I just pay into some other people. Like the taxi, I give more tip. Yeah, And if I buy something in the shop, I give more, something like that, yeah. <laughs> but the bus fare was, uh, I don't think it's a lot. I don't know, maybe that bus owned me something in a previous life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was a child of Russia before, so maybe it just happened that I didn't have to pay for my coat. <laughs> no, I don't think the king need to pay for the coat, the horse coat. So we continue here. So um, here they say that there is nothing that happens without reason. There must certainly have been some antagonisms from some previous births. As soon as the feeling surfaced, Kataputna lost her reason and in order to take her revenge from some forgotten deed from some past life, she started torturing Mahavira. She took the form of a giant and ominous looking parivraja with long strands of hair, some kind of demons, I guess, or... Like a wandering being. Wandering being? Parivrajak means wandering. Uh-huh, I mean wandering. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Parivrajak with long strands of hair, feeling ice cold water in her braided hair, she sprayed that freezing water on Mahavira. Wow. The atmosphere was filled with the moaning sound of icy winds and demonic laughter of the witch. It was a horrific scene. Mahavira, elevated completely into a higher spiritual realm, remained unmoved and serene. Can you? Tough guys? No? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I have not tried. <laughs> I hope no witch will come and try on me. They try all the stuff, but they didn't try this stuff. Please don't. <laughs> I'm very small. <laughs> I don't think I can last a minute. The Ganges River is different. <laughs> I jump in and jump out, jump in, jump out at will, you know, not like <laughs> stay in there for a long time. <laughs> but even then, the hair I stick out, <laughs> become ice, yeah, like ice. Ice scoop <laughs> and the body, you know, when you go into the sun, it's like your skin is blooming <laughs> like flowers, you know. <laughs> it was <a> cool. <laughs> Don't try. Mm. <laughs> I was a little crazy about God. Yeah, I didn't think too much. To walk alone as a young woman in India is already inviting trouble. Not to talk about all that stuff, okay? walk into the mountain and perilous path. No, no, eh? no, 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 no.